And I think you saw obviously from meteorologist Jared Silverman what they anticipate that storm to do. And here's the thing, if you're staying home and hosting the July 4th celebration, you're already planning all the great food, the fireworks perhaps, but before you go out and buy anything, make sure, check your local ordinance, see whether or not it's, you know, legal to fire them off. This morning, our Matt Venezia checking in with the good folks from Baton Rouge Fire Department, talking about how you and your family can do this the right way, which is safely. Matt, good morning. Matt, good morning. That's right. That's what this whole conversation today is about, right? The precautions for 4th of July as we're getting ready to celebrate Independence Day in just a handful of days. I'm here with Elgin McNeely. You're with the Baton Rouge uh, Police Department. And Elgin, you know, the different safety measures that we've been talking about. Maybe some people aren't entirely aware of the consequences of what could happen if you're using fireworks where you shouldn't be or, you know, some other things that come with 4th of July festivities. So could you kind of share a little bit of light on the common things you guys typically see on 4th of July? Yeah, well, first of all, it's illegal to shoot fireworks inside the parish, inside the city limits of Baton Rouge. Uh, secondly, it's illegal to fire weapons inside. So if we get those calls, we'll go out and do our investigation and uh, you could possibly receive some type of citation, a misdemeanor summons, and your weapon and fireworks uh, will be confiscated. So uh, we try to put the word out as much as we can to let people know and remind them that it is illegal to uh, shoot fireworks and shoot handguns uh, in the parish inside the city limits of Baton Rouge. Now, obviously hoping that not too many folks are going to be, you know, victims of, of that, right, of, of making you guys have to make those calls. But probably something more common that you guys typically see more often is those noise complaints, those noise ordinances uh, of having to go knock on people's doors and remind them to keep it down a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's the 4th of July, right? They're having barbecues, people are out partying. So uh, we ask that everyone be responsible uh, in their actions while they're out there partying. Yes, we do get those calls. We'll go out and uh, do our investigation and them to uh, turn the music down but overall you know just be respectful of your neighbors be respectful of those that are out there partying with you uh, to try to keep those disturbances down so we do get a number of complaints and we will do uh, we will go out there and attempt to uh, de-escalate whatever situation that may be occurring at that location Hey, and for Elgin and the rest of the uh, police department, hopefully not too many of those conversations need to be had uh, coming up on Thursday and even just leading up to it, too, with all the different festivities going on here around Baton Rouge leading up to the 4th of July. So with that, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Matt, Elgin, thank you. Important to follow those laws. Hey, speaking of.